Got a Wraith on Rotten Fields, which is just tragic. <laughs> this is one of Wraith's worst maps because you can't really sneak up on anybody ever because... I mean, it's a wide open field. At least you found where they spawned very early. That's good for you. Um, I would uncloak now. I usually just vault this. I don't try the fancy shit here because now he's just going to vault back over and now you're just wasting more time. So, yeah, this didn't really do anything for you. I usually just vault over and ends up still not being that much of a loss. And uh, you don't have to worry about them playing it correctly and you just, uh, you know, not getting a hit from that. I got a little confused there, too. Scratch just went back. Oh, she's got to be behind this rock. There she is. That should be a hit. Good job. Uh, your build, Nurse is Calling, uh, Sloppy Butcher. Great on uh, Wraith. Pop goes a weasel. Can't go wrong. Barbecue can't go wrong. I'd say it's a pretty solid build. You got your Windstorm. You got your Clapper. It's a pretty solid Wraith build. This should be a free hit. I would not even bother Moonwalking. You got to round those corners a bit tighter, I think. I think if you were a bit faster with rounding those corners, you would have gotten that hit. The distance around that first side was within range of a hit, I think. That was good fake, like you were uh, continuing to loop around, but then you switch back very fast. Dwight is running at you, and you didn't take your free hit with Sloppy Butcher, which is very confusing. I would definitely take that free hit since you have Sloppy. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Just some sort of... Crazy shit. What? They are playing very cocky. Good looking at Scratches to know that there's someone else here. Burning Cow Tree the, cur uh, the correct way. Forcing the uh, Medium Vault. Very greedy, but unfortunately, we got a little spun there. And now we're uh, on the short side. At least you can pick her up now. She doesn't have a flashlight, so you don't have to worry about CJ techs. I would just turn around and pick her up. Good job. No, you don't get BP in costume matches. Ugh. As you're walking to the hook, always look behind you to see if there's people chasing you. There's no reason not to. It's like checking your blood sugar. There's no reason to not do it often. Little scratches around this area. Probably on the other side of the couch tree. I wouldn't say this close to this person. I think they're still at the couch tree. Because there were no scratches leading away from the couch tree. Hey, you found something that works. This should be a hit. And it's gone. You are unfortunately getting very corn blinded, which which can totally happen. Almost fun again. Gotta be careful with those. Did we ever kick that pallet on the right? No. I wouldn't really try to mind game this. You got Yeah, just just, just run through it. There you go. There you go. Good shit. Doesn't matter that you're blinded, just kick it. Good job. She went left. This should be a down for you. Good job going this way to cut her off. Now she's forced to run back into the dead zone. Don't bother with the mind game. You're never going to make that lunge, though. Uh, that was a big, big waste. I still think you get her. Actually, is this... I can't tell which side Jack is. Is that window? Never mind, you don't get her. Yeah, that's uh, an example of how a little mistake you just made right there will uh, snowball into a lot of lo a loss of pressure. You got to move left and right. There you go. I like that they added the uh, audio feedback to when you're getting light burn. That's cool. You tend to not want to blindly swing through those. This is a long wall, so go around the outside. Good job. She took that very wide, so... Um, I mean, moonwalking, it doesn't really matter because she's got two pallets right here. Should be a free hit because she was greedy. But she's got a pretty good setup right here. The long wall into that pallet is uh, kind of gross. And there's not really any mind gaming this, so now she's going to use the pallet. Because she can't make the window anymore. She's going to use the other pallet. Moonwalking is not going to do anything here. When you have two connected tiles like that, moonwalking becomes less useful because you can just combine them. Uh, do you still make that? Yeah, that was... Uh, I don't know why she was so greedy there. There's only two gens left, and she had two very good pallets there, and she chose to use neither of them. And she has tenacity. Like, I, I respect, you know, preserving pallets. That's definitely a good thing to do with Survivor, but not when you're, like, swimming in them. Anything banned in this? No spirit or iridescent head. Or ebony mories. Yeah, this is not going to be a win for you, unfortunately. But this should be a free down on Nia. I can't see how she gets anything. Even with dead heart, I don't think she gets anything. Gave up the dead heart. Good job. I'd probably stick Nia in the basement, to be honest. 
If this person was on second hook, pressuring them would probably be a better idea, but the fact that they're still on first hook means they can basically sit and complete a generator, and uh, you will have accomplished nothing, so... Sloppy Butcher really save you there. That's good, though. I would pick her up put her in the basement. There you go. Actually, I would probably put her on that outside hook. Because I would start walking towards... Oh, n now you're walking away from everybody. That's not a good idea. That was a lot of waste of time on your end. You always want to hook people towards where everybody else is. And you just walk away from where everybody else is. So you've made the map bigger instead of smaller. You always want to make the map smaller as killer. So now you have a further, uh, further distance to walk here. And you might not get there before someone's healed up now. So um, that is an example of how a little change like that. Yeah, now she's fully healed. Now you gotta find somebody else. Luckily, you find Dwight, and this pallet's still up, but he doesn't have dead hearts, so he's dead. Rules could be a good thing to make. It's just three things. Nobody more, you know, spirit, no uh, iridescent head. That's it. You guys can remember that. I can't remember where she went. She's farther in, uh, wait, no, never mind. The hell did she get here? Good pickup. She won't be able to blind you. Sometimes even if survivors right near you with a flashlight, just making them take one evasive action is enough to buy you enough time to, uh, be able to pick them up. Nurse is good. Yeah, you can play nurse if you want. I'm not gonna have much to commentate on, but you can play if you want. At least there's something where, you know, a spear is just like, oh. You can finish that on cloak, I think. Oh, you look down, though. <laughs> or you, you gotta look down still. Um, if someone starts trying to light burn you as a wraith, uh, just da uh, dancing left and right. Because if the flashlight drops off of you for even like one frame, it resets to zero. It doesn't like go down and up at the same level. It just gets reset to zero. So as, so as soon as you dance out of it once, it's it, it's reset and they'll knock it. Or they won't have enough time. Did it? Um... You got a tractor into that loop into this. Don't try moonwalking this. She can see you. Another long wall. Fuck, that's rough. Good, good abandon. That was a very good time to abandon Chase. Uh, hopefully, you would have. Uh, it would have mattered if you saw that Nia a bit earlier. You would have been a bit closer and downed her a bit faster, but this is still okay. Get out the dead hard. Good job. You should be able to down this person. There are two people unaccounted for right now. I would just pick her up. I think the other person was uh, too far away. Michael, like, just face the wall and pick her up. Yeah, you're fine. Um, the problem is uh, the other two people on the map are not accounted for. And they are probably working on a gen because there's nothing else for them to be doing. So I expect you're going to lose here in about 20 seconds because there's two unaccounted people. But we'll see. You do have a bit of a three gen, though. That gen is very, very close. But Pop is going to do a lot for you now. Never mind. That, that'll reset your timer a little bit. The problem is they've got a lot of split pressure. Don't take the hit on the Dwight. I would have, I would have went for the down on the Nia. And like you know, it, there, there's a point where applying sloppy butcher to people is a good idea in the early game because then you can start snowballing with some downs later. But this is already the end game. You got to start actually killing people now. So um, I definitely would have went for one of the injured persons. It would have been a free down. And now you're accomplishing nothing here. Now you don't get a hit on Dwight. And now those two people are going to finish that jam while you're doing nothing here. So this is going to be a uh, massive time waste for you instead of just going for one of the injured people. And that gen probably in the uh, corn on the left farthest is going to get finished. In. And uh, unfortunately, now you're screwed. So that was definitely a big error by you. My man Dwight is breaking the totem and he's injured. And you're not going for him for some reason. All right. You heard him too. I saw you look. <laughs> You'll definitely get a hit on Kate. That's for sure. See, like, this is an ideal situation to be in, like, you know, when there's two gens left, not when the gens are all done. Sloppy Butcher is great for that type of snowballing, but not when the game's already over. You can just uncloak. She can't get anywhere. She's dead. I'm gonna go check the door real quick before you pick up, but... Eh. Ooh, you make it. Very nice. Glad you checked. You gotta swing earlier. <laughs> that was so greedy, not lunging through that. Is this console? Uh, this is... It can be PC on console. Feeling better today? I feel really sick to my stomach today. And last night, and the night before. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach. 
Um, I mean, that's good. That guy got up really fast. But I didn't see any nurses calling, which is strange. I mean, you got to start running to the other door. Because that's probably where they went, but it's also probably open by now. Nia is being greedy and stink in the map. I don't know what she's doing. Dwight's got to take a hit. He's lining up for it. I don't think you can beat Nia. Actually, maybe you can, actually. No, actually, you can beat her to this door for sure. She's not even going for it, though. She's kind of trapped in between the two. Hitting Dwight is not going to do that much, unfortunately. You pretty much only have to go for the injured people now, because... You're playing like the match is still ongoing right now. When you get to the end game mode, you just have to play differently. Because even if you hit Dwight, you can just run to the door and just open it. But he's choosing to not do so, so... What's he doing? He literally could have just beelined it to the other door and been fine. His Dwight is throwing. Yeah, now he's not going to make it. He needed to do this way earlier. <laughs> hey, Dangly, thanks for the 100 bits. Yeah, he's, he's not going to make it anywhere. He's dead. Oh, that door wasn't even open. Never mind. Uh, okay, th th that actually changes things. I, I assumed the door was opened. How was that door not opened? There were like three people not accounted for. What the hell? Well, that's unfortunate. Well, Dwight's dead too. Oh, please, definitely a couple of errors. <laughs> definitely a couple of errors. Um... This map is very, very bad for Wraith. I'll get that out of the way so that you had things going against you at first. But there were a lot of, um... A lot of little things, like even the first chase at the uh, tractor. Um, that, that first chase is really important because it sets the uh, tone for snowballing. Uh, how quickly down the first person is how quickly those people have to come off gens to save them. So, um, even little things like that tractor play at the beginning, uh, cascade into quite a bit. At this point, yeah, pretty much just camping him is your only option. And they're not really going to come save because they're both injured, so... That Dwight's basically dead and you're going to get two kills. That should be how this game goes. It might play differently because they're on stream and they want to do some crazy shit, but, uh, there, there is no scenario where they can save this Dwight. I would just hit her out, man. Like, look at your position. Hitting her out would be free. It would get her out of the match so she could never save. And there is no way these people could get to the gate before you. It didn't really matter, but in that scenario, there was no reason to not hit her out. Don't forget the sauce. I will not forget it. I just wanted to start uh, the match first. The other's playing console? I don't know. Nobody hears console, actually. 